When the name of James William Fulbright was added to Senior Walk on the University of Arkansas campus, Fulbright was 19 years old and finishing up a Bachelor of Arts degree in history while also starring on the football team and serving as student body president. Fulbright had been on campus for most of his life, first as a primary and high school student in the university's Peabody School and then as a college undergraduate. Perhaps no other student in America was more ready to study in a far-off foreign land than Fulbright when Oxford University offered him a Rhodes Scholarship. Fulbright's time at Oxford left an indelible mark. He was stretched in his thinking about culture and intellectual achievement. His immersion in the Oxford educational process and his travels on the continent provided just the effect that Cecil Rhodes had intended when he created the Rhodes Scholarships. No doubt, too, that they played a seminal role in Fulbright's later vision of creating an international educational exchange of students between the United States and countries around the world. Fulbright earned a law degree at George Washington University, married, and returned to Fayetteville where he taught law and helped run the family businesses. After the death of the University of Arkansas president in 1939, Fulbright was selected to become its 11th president. Three years later, he ran for Congress in the middle of World War II, and then successfully for the Senate. Not long after becoming a senator, Fulbright introduced the legislation that created America's international exchange program. Fulbright told a radio audience, the exchange of students, the exchange of professors, the translation of books can contribute as much to the preservation of peace as the control of violence. Congress passed Bill Fulbright's legislation in 1946, leading to 70 years of international and cultural exchanges around the world. On its 50th anniversary in 1996, the Fulbright Foreign Scholarship Board met at the University of Arkansas and held a symposium on promoting global understanding. The success of the international exchange of scholars and its historic effect on the nation and world led the United States Postal Service to honor the Fulbright program with a commemorative stamp and a first day issue ceremony in Fayetteville. Not only did the Fulbright program affect individuals like me who became Fulbright scholars, it breathed an international flavor into institutions such as the University of Arkansas. In the center of the United States, far from any international boundary, the University of Arkansas has nonetheless become an international campus in no small part due to the Fulbright program. The J. William Fulbright College of Arts and Sciences, in partnership with Sprang International Language Center, has hosted a myriad of Fulbright pre-academic programs, foreign language teaching assistance, and most recently, three enrichment seminars for Fulbright scholars from Afghanistan. Numerous Fulbrighters and executive directors from around the world visit our university to conduct research in our library's special collections, one of the country's largest collections on international education and cultural exchange, including the papers of J. William Fulbright. This fall, 51 Fulbright scholars from 30 countries are completing degrees or conducting research here. A couple of years ago, the Fulbright scholars on campus established their own student organization to promote mutual understanding across campus and throughout the Fayetteville community. Like them, we wish the Fulbright community continued good work around the world as it carries forward J. William Fulbright's highest ideals. We wish the Fulbright International Exchange Program a happy 70th anniversary and look forward to the next 70 years of international exchange.